the variables P, Q, T, A, sub, total. I spelled that wrong, I'm sorry. Start. Time, discount, price, quantity. This is an input. Process. Amount equals price times quantity. Decision. Time equals 8 to 10. Discount is 45% if yes. Discount is 10% if no. Process. Sub, subtotal equals amount times discount. Tax equals 8.5 times subtotal. Total equals tax plus subtotal. Print cost. Output. Stop or end. Con control structures. Sequence decision loop. We have a nested decision also and a sequential decision. Here's the sequence. Here's the nest, uh, yeah, nested decision. Sequential decision. Two types of loops. We'll get into loops later. Rules of the flowchart. The shapes. The shapes. Each, each shape stands for something. Uh, there's a certain shape that stands for decision, a certain shape that stands for input, a certain shape that stands for process. X equals A plus Y. You cannot do, when you're putting it into a process mathematical equations, you can't do A plus Y equals X. I'm not sure why, that's just the way their standard is. Always something on the yes side with the decision. You have to have something on the yes side no matter what. If you're putting something on the no side, something always has to be on the yes side. You can just have something on the yes side without the no side, but you cannot have anything on the no side without the yes side. Order of operations. When you're handing in the flowchart to a programmer, he needs to be able to read the flowchart. There is a certain... The flowchart has to be universal. Everybody reads the flowchart the same way. So you have to create the flowchart and make it correct so that your programmer can read your flowchart. That's it. Have fun, YouTube. Bye.